everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb Tone Report, and Universal Audio has finally done it. They've released the Lion 68 Super Lee, which really completes that a whole line of amp emulator pedals with the Ruby, Woodrow, and Dream. Now we have all those classic plexi tones at our fingertips, and they've also released a new bunch of compact effects, giving us classic modulation, tremolo, and LA-2A compression. So let's get to it. Like the previous UAFX amp pedals, every stage of the famous British 100 watt plexi is emulated, including normal and bright volumes, which you can jump or just like the real deal. Plus, alt controls make it easy to fine tune the overall brightness with the presence control, place the lion in a natural room, or hot rod the preamp with the boost feature. And this can be assigned to one of the switches within the UAFX app via Bluetooth. There are actually three carefully emulated plexi models to choose from. 68 Super Bass, Super Lead, and Brown, which runs the amp through a Variac for a smoother tone while adding gain and EQ mods to give it that fire-breathing EVH sound. And it doesn't stop at the amp. You have a plethora of vintage cabs mic'd and pre-mixed, so all you need to do is plug in direct and let it roar. The Lion can live on your pedal board in mono or stereo before going direct or set up normally into your amp with cabs disabled. Alternatively, you can utilize the four cable method with the Lion in your amp's effects loop. This lets you swap your amp's preamp with the Plexi at the stomp of a switch. Today you'll be hearing the Lion straight into my Apollo 8 interface in stereo. And be sure to watch the whole video for the Brigade, Flow, and Teletronics LA-2A, which have also been released alongside the Lion and are available right now on Reverb. All right, so let's just start with the basics here. How about the super lead mode, the stock basket weave uh, 412 with those green backs. And we'll just play around with those two different volume controls since they are jumpered. And then we'll go from there by tweaking the EQ and all those alternate parameters. <laughs> We're starting to get in some drive here, and this is pretty much like my old 72 Super Lead, where it's pretty clean until you get about halfway. And then, of course, we could dial in the normal volume to fatten up the low end. And as we get past 12 o'clock on either of the volumes, we really start to enter that overdrive territory. And it's not uncommon to back off on the bass as we do this, since it tends to tighten things up, but it's still a very fat sound. <laughs> And before we jump into those other modes, let's just try those alternate parameters. I'm going to place this plexi in a very natural sounding room, change the presence, and also the boost, which is affecting the preamp. <laughs> Thank you. 
that presence really just adds some extra detail, especially if you're kind of putting it farther back in the room. Now let's try that other uh, and final parameter in the alternate modes, and that's the boost. <laughs> Now let's move on to those other modes, and while we're at it, let's try some other cabinets. So as you can tell, it just really smooths out the edges there, adds a bit more compression. So it's nice to be able to uh, save this mode to a different preset. So you could start off in a very wide open super lead or super bass sound, and then kick onto your preset for the lead for a nice smooth and brown solo. <laughs> Now the bonus cabs. So obviously each cab has its own unique resonance and it just has a unique uh, you know, voicing that pokes through the mix in different ways and it's a great way to match with different guitars as well. Now there's one more mode we haven't tried out and that's the super bass and for this one I'm actually going to clean things up and it's going to really uh, fatten up these single coils here in the middle and neck position. So here we have even more headroom, so it's kind of a great place to start if you just want to use this pedal as a platform amplifier and you know hit it hard with some other effects like fuzz or overdrive. Let's just see where we could push this with both of those volume controls. <laughs> space with that room knob.
since we have these new compact UI effects here, let's try some analog style modulation in front of the lion. We have a chorus setting here, so we could just use that depth knob to uh, adjust everything here. It's the speed and depth rolled in one, just like the original unit. And the preamp has been modeled, so we could actually get a little bit of extra grit going into the super bass mode. <laughs> Now with the Flow Vintage Tremolo plugged in, I'm set up in the Dharma mode, which is a nice harmonic trim, reminiscent of a vibe. And I'm also going to show you the Lion, and starting off in this setting that you see here with the Super Bass, and then I'm going to switch over to my favorite preset, where I've changed the cab, and we're over in Super Lead mode. <laughs> And here's something I've definitely not tried before in the pedal world or in the real world, and that's using a LA-2A studio compressor in front of a Plexi. First thing I notice is it doesn't really feel like a standard stomp box compressor with that pumping effect. It's very natural, uh, even with the release set to fast. I have it to the stock slow setting, by the way, and I'm going to be playing around with the mix of the wet and dry signals just to get the right feel going into this super lead mode. <laughs> kind of a gentle compression. Let's hit it harder and go to the brick wall limiter setting and I'm going to increase the peak and of course we're going to have to adjust for the gain to make up for this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, that's a look at the Lion 68 Super Lead, just rounding out that whole amp emulator series from Universal Audio. And of course, you could find the Flow, the Brigade, and Teletronics LA-2A compact pedals right here on Reverb as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.